Hello, let's take a look at the forecast across Europe. And over the next few days, we're keeping an eye on this frontal system. It's a cold front. It trails all the way out into the Atlantic. And through Saturday, it's been bringing some heavy rain across England, Wales and parts of Scandinavia. Behind it, the air is much colder. And by the time we get to Sunday, our frontal system is draped across northern France through the Low Countries, Poland, Baltic states and out towards Finland, bringing some outbreaks of rain here. Further south, mainly fine and dry, good deal of sunshine. Can't run out a few showers for the Turkish coast around Cyprus. A couple of those heavy showers across northern Africa, just getting close to Sicily. For much of Iberia on Sunday, fine, dry, some sunshine. More cloud, though, for northern and western parts of Iberia. And then here's our frontal system, as I mentioned, draped across northern France and up towards Finland. Could well bring some heavy rain across the eastern side of Scandinavia with some snow given any elevation. Speaking of snow, as this front continues to slide its way southwards on Monday, we can start to see some snow developing across the Alps. Let's take a look at the city forecast for the next five days. I'd like to see some rain in London in the week ahead. Quite cool here over the coming days. Similar conditions in Paris. Probably not picking up that rain, though, until Thursday and Friday. The sunshine continues in Madrid and in Rome. Things are about to get much colder in Moscow and Kiev. Could see some thunderstorms developing in Athens by the end of the week. Bye-bye. Hello. Fire weather threats across California remain critical, if not extreme, through this weekend, particularly for northern California, where we'd like to see some very dangerous conditions. Low humidity, those strong and gusty Santa Ana winds continuing to fuel the wildfires across the state. Also keeping an eye on this fairly potent system. It's the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Olga, bringing some intense rainfall and thunderstorms through our Gulf states, up through the Mississippi Valley and then up towards the Great Lakes and the eastern seaboard through Saturday and eventually into Sunday. Meanwhile, across the Pacific Northwest, we've got an area of cloud and also some snow for inland areas of British Columbia across into Alberta and also for Montana as well, because see some significant snow across the Rockies. Further south, it's dry. We've got the low humidity, the gusty winds, as I mentioned, continuing to fuel the wildfires across California with the potential that we could see some developing a little bit further eastwards as well. Quick glance at our city forecast over the next few days, staying dry and mild, not on the cool side for Vancouver and Seattle. So across to the eastern side of North America now, you can see these blue-green colours just indicating the extent of the rainfall from the Great Lakes down through the Midwest and towards our Gulf states. Some thunderstorms embedded in that could see some torrential rain in places. It does slowly start to pull away, so things improving in Miami by the time we get to Monday and also New York as well. Bye-bye. Hello, we'll get the forecast for Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean in just a moment's time. First to South America, let's start with the earlier satellite picture. Large mass of cloud across southern parts of Chile. That will continue to bring some wet and windy weather to southern parts of Chile over the coming days. Further north, it's looking mainly dry into Uruguay, Paraguay. A little bit of rain for eastern parts of Argentina. Plenty of showers, though, through Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, northern parts of Peru and through into the Amazon basin. One or two may just slide their way a little bit further eastward, so can't rule out a couple getting to the east coast, probably just about missing Rio. So essentially fine and dry here over the coming days. As I mentioned, a little bit of rain perhaps for the eastern side of Argentina to the south of Buenos Aires. For much of Argentina, it's looking fine and dry, but more wet and windy weather for southern parts of Chile. Further north, dry, some sunshine with the temperatures on the rise in Santiago in the week ahead. Some rain getting into Buenos Aires by the time we get to Monday. That should clear and the sunshine returning. Plenty of heavy showers and thunderstorms through southern and eastern parts of Mexico through the Yucatan Peninsula, also across down towards Guatemala and Honduras, and a whole rash of showers close to uh, Hispaniola, Cuba and Jamaica in the coming days. Now, it looks like they should start to clear, so sun should turn drier with the sunshine returning in Kingston, but showers never too far away from Havana. Bye-bye. Hello. The forecast for the Middle East coming up in just a moment's time. First to Africa. And we've had a system known as a medicane developing in the Mediterranean. That's brought some heavy showers to parts of Libya, Algeria, Tunisia, also Egypt. Some notable rainfall around Cairo in the last 24 to 48 hours. We'll see more of those developing across Libya, Tunisia and Algeria in the days ahead. And also plenty of showers through our central zone of Africa from the Ethiopian highlands across towards the Gulf of Guinea. And some outbreaks of rain across the 
Southern Cape as well. So Cape Town likely to see some rainfall in the days ahead. That will ease away the sunshine returning and the temperatures starting to rise. Lots of sunshine and temperatures in the low 30s Celsius in Johannesburg. Could see some rain here by the end of the week. Further north uh, across Africa, you can still see some thunderstorms in Cairo. They will clear and through the week ahead, things are looking dry with the sunshine returning. Some showers always close by to Kinshasa. Across to the Middle East, scattering of showers running through the Levant. Those showers becoming a little bit more frequent as we head across into Iran and down into the Gulf. Further south, things are looking dry. Although if we just look a little bit further eastwards out into the Arabian Sea, this is a severe tropical cyclone, keeping an eye on that as it moves its way westwards over the coming days. Certainly some very rough, if not dangerous seas through the Arabian Sea. Looking dry in Muscat to in the days ahead. Could see some showers in Kuwait. Bye-bye. Hello, let's take a look at the forecast across South and Central Asia. And I'll begin with the earlier satellite picture. I want to draw your attention to this lump of cloud. It's a severe tropical cyclone pulling away from the coast of Maharashtra and out into the Arabian Sea. Some very rough, if not dangerous, seas through the Arabian Sea. And initially, still some gusty winds and rain for the coast of Maharashtra on Saturday before it starts to pull away. And we've got further heavy showers, longer spells of rain through Kerala, Karnataka, and also starting to push their way eastwards through Sunday into Tamil Nadu and up into Andhra Pradesh as well. And we have a number of warnings in place for the rain. Further north, it's much quieter. There will be a few showers pushing out of the Caspian Sea, one or two further east across Central Asia as well, by and large for many on Sunday. It's largely dry, lots of sunshine. That continues down into northern states of India, into Pakistan. But as we move further southwards, you can see those brighter blue and in places green colours just showing the extent of the rainfall on Sunday. Looks like the Maldives should be mainly dry. Plenty of showers and thunderstorms across Sri Lanka. As I mentioned, Andhra Pradesh like to see some of this heavy rain. And also some showers just starting to develop as we push our way out into Bangladesh and Myanmar. Quick look at the city forecast over the next five days. Dry with lots of sunshine in Mumbai and also in Delhi. Looks like we'll see further thunderstorms in Colombo. Eventually see some showers moving into Tashkent through the middle part of the week and quite wet at times in Chennai. Bye-bye. Hello, we'll get the forecast for Australia and New Zealand in just a moment's time. First to the Asia-Pacific, let's begin with the earlier satellite picture. Plenty of shower clouds through parts of Indonesia and Malaysia. Quite quiet for much of Indochina. And this strip of clouds stretching from Bangladesh through Myanmar and across into China, bringing more cloud and some outbreaks of rain. Fairly light and patchy across central and eastern China. Now, we did have Typhoon Buoloi well offshore from Japan, and it poses no threat at all. But still some wet and windy weather for parts of Hokkaido, northern parts of Honshu through Sunday, improving all the while from the south and the west. A lot of dry weather through much of Vietnam and Thailand. As we head further south, though, this is where we start start to pick up heavy thundery showers and still continuing for a large swathe of Malaysia and Indonesia. Quick look at our city forecasts over the next five days. Dry with lots of sunshine in Beijing. There will be one or two showers around in Bangkok, but otherwise a good deal of sunshine here. A couple of showers for the Northern Territories of Australia on Sunday, also across southeastern parts of Australia and down into Tasmania. Heat building all the while from the west. We have a frontal system pushing through the Tasman Sea, bringing some wet, windy weather to the South Island of New Zealand on Sunday. The North Island probably staying mainly fine and dry for now. So a quick look at the city forecast. Real day-on-day -day temperature fluctuations in Melbourne, in Sydney. It's dry with plenty of sunshine. Bye-bye.